Fucus, what is up, gangsters? So right now the moon is at eighty-eight point one percent illumination in the sign of Libra, which has a lot to do with pensiveness, like thinking, you know, brain power, right? Uh, and then we're moving towards this full moon in Sagittarius on the thirtieth or on the twenty-third. Sorry, um, and uh, yeah, so that's way closer to you in the zodiac. So you might really connect to that energy, especially if you have Sagittarius in your chart. Um, and that's very fiery, very motivated, very inspired um, energy. So let's see how it affects you personally on your journey. The golden children, inner child, tenderness, um, innocence, and rare gifts. Okay, so this, this is powerful. This is talking about connecting with your inner child, right? Connecting to your personal spiritual gifts through, you know, connecting with your inner child. It's like you, you start to realize, you know, certain things about yourself and your ability to manifest or create, you know. So let's dive into it and uh, see, you know, in more detail what exactly this means. All right, so before I get started, I want to say that roles can be reversed. I'm reading it from a perspective that I'm seeing it. Um, so if, you know, roles are reversed, take it as it resonates, you know, um, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing this energy that like, with the high priestess in reverse, somebody like ignored their own intuition or they were dealing with like fear, doubt, insecurity, um, you know, those kinds of things, feeling a bit disconnected from um, oneself. Like there was like a period of that, whether that's you or somebody else. Um, it's heavy Pisces energy and this leads to the tower, right? And it's like, because of this, um, this caused something to fall apart or like a dynamic to, you know, fall apart. It's caused some kind of tower, right? Some kind of disruption in the ebb and flow of things. Um, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like this could be in, in regards to not taking an action or communication. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um... I also, because the Queen of Swords in the upright is like, can be very, oh, okay, <laughs> can be uh, like cold and calloused and, you know, like very stiff, you know, detached. Um, and with this in reverse, I feel that there's like, you know, this energy of not really wanting to like feel defensive and, um, to not have to like, you know, get into that survival mode, if you will. Um, I'm seeing this energy of like, I don't want to fight, I don't want to argue, I don't want to participate in all that, you know, I don't want to sit here and spend my life just feeling like I got to be protecting myself from certain energies, you know. Um, and so I feel that this, this caused a, a significant shift in, like, the trajectory of your life. Whether 
this was you or somebody you were dealing with um, because of how connected it is to you. I feel like regardless of which role you are, I feel that this has caused a significant shift in your course, your your day-to-day -day life, you know. It's something very... Um, life altering you know because you got um you're starting out heavy in the major arcana so um yeah and then we have the star in reverse um the star in the uh, in the upright you know aquarius energy really talks about um hopefulness faith you know like the light in the darkness um, all of that, you know, and with this in reverse, this is like, you know, going back to that energy of doubt, you know, that energy of like confusion even because the star is like the opposite. The star is like knows its direction. It knows its course. And there's kind of like this energy of kind of veering a bit. Um, also... You could be dealing with an Aquarius because there's heavy swords energy and with the star, you know, that's, it's very air, right? It's all air energy. And so could be dealing with that. Um, I kind of want to see like what your advice is. At this time, you know, based on everything that's transpired. Okay, <laughs> this is a uh, kind of interesting energy here. I'm starting out with the Seven of Cups. This is saying, you know, look at all of your options, right? Look at how each cup has something different to offer. Um, pay attention, you know, pay attention to what you really do desire, you know. Um, then we have the Sun in reverse, heavy Leo energy. However, there's no reverse meaning for the Sun, right? The Sun always means the same thing, and that's one of the best things about this card <laughs> like it's all about you know getting that divine help over that wall over those obstacles over you know challenges it's it's being raised up above all that and like being able to connect with your inner child you know going back to that that first card that we got your oracle card you know there's uh an energy of like the importance like telling the importance of you know connecting with your inner child and Allowing yourself to, like, take life a little lightly, you know, dance around, you know, um, feel comforted in that. Because, you know, with the star in reverse, I feel like there could have been a huge, like, loss of faith or hopefulness um, because things were going in a certain direction. Uh, you know, the star and the sun are basically both stars, right? And, and they both represent illumination in some ways. And I feel like, you know, a new dawn is being illuminated for you at this time. With the lovers in reverse, heavy Gemini energy, right? You got heavy, uh, like, air, fire, you know, you got Pisces up on the board. You've got Mars with the tower, like, you've got a lot of major arcana. So this really tells me that this is, you're going through life-altering experiences right now like the entire trajectory or course of your life is taking a big like whoo <laughs> like it's looping around it's like all right something's got to give something's got to change right um with the lovers in reverse this could be separation from a person you know like experiencing a, a, a breakup or this could also be like severing a business partnership or some kind of contractual agreement um the lovers has a lot to do with big decisions right that's the original meaning of the lovers card it's all about decision making and making decisions that really do change the entire course of your life your existence it's like once 
if the lovers comes up, whether it's in reverse or not, it's like life as you have known it is about to change very dramatically for you in the near future, right? That's something I've learned, <laughs> you know, whether that's through separation or through unity. Um, with the strength card, another Leo card uh, showing up. Uh, I'm seeing this importance too to really like go out life with an energy of like courage, strength, and bravery, you know? Don't be afraid to, um, to embark on this journey and just in a state of allowing things to be as they are, right? And, and just seeing how that energy kind of shifts the way that everything goes, because when we're trying to, um, control every aspect of our future, we're trying to plan and predict and do all these things, and sometimes we lose our present opportunity to really like live in the now and to really just experience that you know I think it takes a lot of strength um to have restraint too right to allow like karmic cycles to be severed if you know whether that's romantically or in jobs or within friend groups or family whatever the hell you know there's like a level of importance in you know just allowing what is to be you know like the and when we're in a state of like resistance and life resists right it resists back but if we're in a state of allowance then life allows back and so you know for example like, you get stuck behind a train and you're late for work or whatever. You can sit there and give yourself a fucking anxiety attack if you want. Um, however, no amount of anxiety that you pour into it is going to change the outcome, you know? And so, sometimes it's better to be like, alright, well, this happened <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. So, I'm just gonna fucking accept it and flow with it and see, you know what comes of it. Maybe I needed this obstacle today. Maybe there was a reason I shouldn't have shown up at a certain time, you know. Um, be, like, forgiving with yourself and with the way that things unfold. Don't allow yourself to just be in a state of constantly on, on edge, you know. And I'm saying that because the Queen of Swords did come out whether it reversed or not, you know. It's like, um, that can be very exhausting energy. Uh, I do see the Two of Cups. I see a karmic connection here. Um, and by that, I don't necessarily mean, like, a negative connection. I mean, like, this is, you know, you have unfinished business, you know, from, like, other lifetimes or other, you know, scenarios, you know, whatever the case. Um, there's, like, a soul agreement here. And so, and this does feel romantic. With the Seven of Cups looking at your options, it's kind of romantic energy, you know? So, and with the Lovers in Reverse, I do feel like having the strength to move on from, like, a very big, you know, connection or commitment is going to really empower, you know, your next, your next connection, your next romantic experience if that is you know the path that you're on it could be work too right because love and passion are things that can also be attributed to that so you know take it as it resonates <laughs> but i i just yeah i feel heavy on this uh there's this energy of you gotta let go of what isn't meant for you in order to embrace what is and when we let go of things gracefully, you know, just like, okay, like, it's time to let go, just do it, you know, like, it doesn't have to be, there doesn't need to be resistance, there doesn't need to be conflict, there doesn't, you know, and I think that's a place that you're reaching, and, you know, learning these skills will help, you know, seeing, you know, what didn't go great in the last connection will really help you in this next connection to avoid, you know, falling into similar patterns. 
on the flippity flop um there could be potential for similar patterns right and that's something that you're gonna have to um you know like be very strict and not going back down that down those cycles <laughs> like repeating you know what had happened before so right now you're in a, a really big place of of power you know because you can choose to change the entire course of your life or you can choose to repeat patterns with people um that are different people but similar energies you know so how you respond and react and go through things is really going to say a lot about your outcomes so let's see what else you need to hear before we close this out with some Carly Oracles. Dude, this is like pretty heavy shit because it feels like, you know, whatever decisions you make right now, you know, could, it's like, what is that word? Almost like redefining yourself, right? Like deciding um, and affirming who you're choosing to be and what you're choosing to invite into your life, you know? It's a very big uh, place of power to be. And not power necessarily over everybody else, but over your own outcomes, over what you genuinely want in your life, what you see as valuable, right? Are you okay, Ollie? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're just being dramatic. <laughs> I, I will, yeah. Okay. I'm okay, though. Okay. You video. You'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, um, we have Kapali. Tune into the spiritual power within you. It is beyond what society understands and can offer you. It will nourish, protect, inspire, and guide you through any troubles. If your path is diverging from your original plans or is out of sync with those around you, trust in what is happening and know that you are within Kali's care. Artha of Kali, you are forging your authentic path. In support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. And I feel like that's such a heavy message. Like, I rarely pull the art of Kali, and I feel like it's very significant to your path. Um, so, yeah, I mean... You got this, you know, overcoming fear, doubt, insecurity, those things can, can be tough, but it's very important to like shed that for your next season, for your next chapter, for what you're about to go into. Um, you're going to have to have full faith in your own abilities moving forward, you know, and that will make all the difference. <laughs> uh, so yes. Anyway, this is what I have for you. Namaste. I love you all. And I will see you later.